students today i am with the topic macrolides so from the name itself we can say it is a macrocyclic lactone why it is called macrocyclic lactone we can divide the word into two that is one is macro another one is volide already we have come across the word volide in cardiac glycosides okay so what is meant by volide volide is a lactone so macro means that is indicating macrocyclic so it is a it is having macrocyclic lactone ring in the structure so that is called as macrolides they belong to polyketide class of natural products actually in 1950 the first identified macrolide no that was picromycin so which was isolated in the year 1950 and next one is erythromycin and carbomycin they were identified in the year 1952 some macrolides were obtained from the soil examples are spiramycin josomycin rosomycin but they are clinically inferior than erythromycin and its derivatives this no erythromycin and its derivatives examples clarithromycin and azithromycin they have superior pharmacokinetic properties because of the enhanced acid stability and improved distribution properties now we will see the clinically used macrolides examples are erythromycin clarithromycin azithromycin dirithromycin and oleandomycin all are ending with thromycin so if it is ending with thromycin so that is the clinically used macrolide now we'll see the chemistry of macrolide already we we said it is a um, having macrocyclic lactone what is meant by lactone lactone means it is a cyclic ester that is cyclic carboxylic ester how we are getting that it is formed from intramolecular esterification of hydroxy carboxylic acid that is the same uh, same structure is having hydroxy group and carboxylic acid group so from the ester would be formed so here we have that carboxylic acid here we have hydroxy group there may be removal of one molecule of water and form cyclization when we are getting the ring so this is called as lactone so what is meant by lactone that is a cyclic ester that is a cyclic carboxylic ester formed from intramolecular esterification of hydroxy carboxylic acid and this macroloid no that is having three parts one is a lactone ring next one is ketone group and another one is glycosidically linked sugars here the lactone ring no that is large already we said it is a macrocyclic lactone so that is a large non planar strainless ring and that is having 12 to 16 atoms in it next one is ketone group third is glycosidically linked sugar so it is having two sugars that two sugars may be deoxy sugars and one is having a substituted amino group usually that is dimethyl amino group so because of the presence of this dimethyl amino group they are acting as bases and form salts in the P with pka values between 6 to 9 already we said it forms salts with uh, acids no the examples for the acids should be glucoheptanoic acid lactobionic acid etc and because of the salt formation the water solubility of that would be increased so one is having a substituted amino group so one is an amino sugar another one is a neutral sugar so it is having two sugars and that two sugars are connected to the lactone ring by means of glycosidic linkage now we'll see the examples of the sugars they may be l cladinose and d desosamine so most of them is having l cladinose and d desosamine here the d desosamine that is having amino so that is a amino sugar and this cladinose no that is a neutral sugar the macrolides no they can be classified into 12 14 15 or 16 membered now we'll see the examples for the first one 12 membered macrocyclic rings the examples are methimycin neomethimycin if it is a 14 member ring that can be classified into natural or semi synthetic examples for natural would be erythromycin oleandomycin sporiamycin for semi synthetic examples are roxithromycin dirithromycin fluorithromycin and clarithromycin if it is a 15 member ring the example is azithromycin 16 membered again classified into natural and semi synthetic examples for natural spiramycin josomycin medicamycin kitsamycin and for semi synthetic examples are uh, rokitamycin and uh, miocamycin 17 membered means lankidison complex special groups of macrolides are there they are azelites triamylides and ketolide example for azelide would be azithromycin so that is a 15 membered lactone ring and here 
um, this lactone ring no that is attached with the methylated nitrogen next one is triamylite example is tulathromycin it may be of 13 to 15 member ma macrocyclic ring last one is ketolite examples are telithromycin cethromycin solithromycin so in the case of ketolite actually they are derivatives of erythromycin here already we said um, it is having two sugars now one is a cladinose another one is desosamine here the ketone group is attached with the cladinose and cyclic carbamate group is attached with the lactone so this is about ketolite now we will see the mechanism of action of macrolides so, the macrolides know they are binding with 50S ribosomal subunits and inhibits protein synthesis. Now, we will say how it is binding with the 50S ribosomal subunits. Actually, it is binding with 23S RNA or RNA in the polypeptide exit tunnel that is adjacent to peptidyl transferase center in the 50S ribosomal subunit. So, and inhibits the peptidyl transferase activity and interferes with translocation of amino acid during translation and assembly of proteins. So, because of that it inhibits protein synthesis that is all about the mechanism of action of macrolides. Next class we will see the products of macrolides.